Here's three of the higher end pieces I have in my collection. 14 karat gold. It has, I think, 144 seed pearls and an 11 karat um, opal on it. It has blue and green, blue and gray flashes, um, but it does have crazing in it. Um, so we can put the light behind it and you can see the crazing in the opal, which isn't cracks, but still. Um, that's a good way to look at opals to see if it does have crazing or cracks in it. Now this has been reclasped. It is marked 14 karat gold, which is nice, but it's been reclasped and rehinged um, around 1920. So we still have a machine hinge, and uh, but this clasp is also a reverse clasp, um, which was only used for a few years. But still, um, I wish it had the original on there. And you can kind of see where the gold's burnished a little bit, where it has been uh, re-soldered on there. But it's still an amazing piece. And it's definitely Victorian. And those little seed pearls are strung on there with wire. This is a, a Chalcedony. I think I'm saying that right, brooch. Um... I'm not sure if this is a little bird or a flower on there. I know that's black spinal and rubies. And the setting is 10 karat gold. There is some, a uh, little bit of soldering that's been done on the side right there. Um, it's just, uh, like for the prongs. But it still has the orig original C-class and tube hinge and to set um that gold bird or flower on there they have these little rivets that they drilled through the stone and um, set it there there's the hinge and you can see a little bit more soldering done on this side where it's holding the stone in place these are um harder to find usually have a bezeled edge and uh, they're just really gorgeous pieces. It's late Victorian, probably around 1880s. Here's a classical revival, a uh, Greek revival piece. It's a high carat yellow gold with a large malachite cabochon. You can see the interwoven granulations on it. And that's what makes it more of a Greek um, revival and not Etruscan. It has these great little tiny tassels that are all made out of 22 karat gold as well. Uh, the back has the original hinge, the two-piece tube hinge. Um, it, you can see how the, the, the needle's longer, the pin's longer. And it does have... It has been reclasped. You can see the solder very easily, and obviously the clasp is not. <laughs> I mean, it's probably like a 50s clasp. Um, so it was probably reclasped maybe by a jeweler or, I don't know, maybe a home jeweler at some point. Here's um, two pieces. One's Etruscan Revival, and the other one's a Repousse. Um, the top one uh, is Etruscan Revival with the white um, eye. This one is the Repousse, um, which basically means uh, reverse car, not carved, but hammered um, in relief. And when you have like those big, nice, puffy brooches from the Victorian period, that's what they're called, Repousse. Here we have an Etruscan Revival piece. Um, it's 15 karat gold, and as you can see, it has these little nodules on the side. And anytime you see that, um, it's pretty much going to be Etruscan Revival. It's very indicative of the motif. It has a great C clasp on the back, and a great tube hinge, and a bell if you want to wear it on a chain. It also has a little place where you could put mementos in there. And here's a little bit better look at the granulation with the classical look to it. And the nodules on the side. 
Now I want to show you the difference between the hinges. This is a cheaper gold filled piece and it has a pin that's like curled around the hinge. All tube hinges or T-bar hinges are two pieces. They're never machine made so they can come apart easily. Um, and this is the cheaper one and on the higher end ones it has a, usually a pin that's stuck in there and it's pretty hard or sometimes soldered. Now let's look at a couple figural brooches uh, so you can see some of those examples. This figural is bronze. It has two snakes and wings. And you can see the wonderful feather details on it. It has a mottled glass cabochon. Here we can see it has a thick C-clasp and a tube hinge, which the tube hinge is unique, but it still is the tube part with the pin. It's very well made. Uh, See, it, there's the pin in the hinge. This is uh, a neoclassical with like Egyptian and Greek influences. It would have been made for a middle class lady. Next, we're going to look at a swallow. This is a scissor tail swallow. Um, and this motif was very important during the Victorian era. Uh, it is encrusted with beautiful paste stones to make it look like rose cut diamonds in there. This is all sterling silver and it used to have a gold wash over it but has worn off over the years. You can see here it has a tube hinge and a C clasp as well. And the symbolism of this specific swallow is really important for sailors. Uh, because it meant return home safely so it's very important in the Victorian era and here's the clasp it opens or the hinge opens so um, unique and I wanted to show you that as well so if you came across that you wouldn't think it's broke this is just how the jeweler made this particular piece This piece is another one of uh, my favorites in the collection. It is very heavy sterling silver and has amazing rose cut paste stones in it to look like diamonds. I'm not exactly sure of the age of this. Um, it has the tube hinge uh, and it's a very heavy tube hinge and it's got this soldered on very crude like C clasp and that it's it's strange to have a C clasp soldered on usually you would see a safety clasp soldered on um, I think this could be even as old as Georgian I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you learn a little bit more about Victorian jewelry and how to identify it if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, just let me know what you think or I, if I can help you in any way. Also, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I have more things coming. This is a look at some of the jewelry I'll be doing in my next videos for the Art Nouveau and Art Deco periods. Um, let me know what else you want to see or what you want to uh, know about. And thank you very much. I appreciate you watching. You have a great day. Bye.